Hey everybody, it's Christina. Today I am going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I have tried this already four times since I purchased it and I wanted to give you my two cents on it. So let's just get started. I purchased the shade 4.0, which is a warm undertone. If it ends in a zero, it is a warm undertone. If it ends in a 0.5, it's a cool undertone. And if you want to find this shade for yourself online on the Urban Decay website, they have have a good matching program that they do you can either match it I don't know based on the color selection or based on the current foundation that you're wearing so which is really nice but the foundations that they do offer they didn't have mine so I had to go into the store and actually try it on which I think is the best way to do it Overall, I really like this product. It's very light, like they say. It gives you a luminous demi-matte finish. I don't think it gives too much of a luminous finish as a matte finish, but it looks really nice and fresh on my skin. I am not as young as I used to be, so I really like a fresh skin. I don't like it to be too cakey. I don't like it to be too layered on. So it gives you medium coverage, so if you need more coverage, you definitely have to work it in a couple of times into the specific um, areas on your skin. It is peptide infused, light diffusing, paraben free. It has good antioxidants in it. It, gives, it has green tea, vitamin E. It helps with fine lines. I do have some fine lines. I haven't noticed too much of what it says it's supposed to do with fine lines, but it definitely does look really nice and gentle and refreshing on my skin. Because the older you get, you definitely want to tone the makeup down to look younger. And that is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, it's definitely very, very gentle and it is water-based. It is uh, fragrance free. So if you don't like scents in your foundation, it is a perfect foundation for you. It runs for $38 for one fluid ounce. So, and it actually reminds me of the Makeup Forever HD foundation, which I recently purchased also. So I will probably do maybe a video reviewing that one on my skin I don't know um, because that one has been around for a while I think so overall great product I really enjoyed it for $38 it's it's not my favorite I still have my favorite and nothing has been able no foundation has been able to top that number one spot maybe one day I'll do a video featuring my best foundations to least favorite foundations so if you guys have tried this let me know let me know how it worked out for you it's supposed to be for all skin types so if you want to try it go ahead and check it out and um, let me know how you like it so I am gonna end it at that and I will let you know that the giveaway is ending this week, so be sure if you haven't entered, go ahead and check out that video. I'm going to be doing another giveaway right after that, and I will be going on vacation soon with my family for a few days because we are so exhausted and we need a little break. So check out my vlog channel and my Facebook page if you are interested in following us along on our adventure to Key West. Other than that, have a wonderful week, and I will catch you in another video. Bye.